I've come to the right man to find out about my baboon. I walk into this guy's store and whammo. This is real Georgia here. There's all kinds of critters and there's all kinds of sounds in the woods. It's really nuts. Wow, that is incredible. That is a full grown baboon, buddy. It's an yeah. African animal, but it's on an American form, more okay. than likely done by an American taxidermist. You see by his teeth, he could do lots of damage. You were in the wrong place at the wrong time, it, it might not be nice. Look at the size of the fangs. You do not want to confront one of these in a dark alley. Is this a good job of taxiderming? On a scale of one to 10, maybe a seven. I'd wrinkle the nose up more. Give it a sexy look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How rare are baboon mounts? I've been doing taxidermy for 37 years, and I've mounted about five. Well, that's what's pretty rare. Interesting and rare equals money. Bingo, ka-ching. So how much is this thing worth, Lee? I would say in New York, nine to a thousand. That's great news. 900 bucks. Anything that's nasty and mean and hairy is a big seller in New York City. I've been dying to ask a taxidermist this question. If it was legal, could you stuff a human? Human skin is the same as a monkey skin. 